we all know in cybersecurity we are provided with many tools, uh, even operating systems such as Kali Linux, Pirot, and also there are firewalls, uh, security appliances. So everything look uh, ready, right? Uh, so that everyone can get into cybersecurity, start performing essential tasks such as penetration testing or security analysis. However, uh, we have to step back again and think. Uh, behind every real exploit you see and uh, behind every patch or update you see there is a code there's a code that was written to exploit a certain vulnerability or to patch a certain vulnerability that's why or where this is where the importance of coding comes into light understanding basic coding is very essential in cyber security so whether you are hunting bugs building exploits or automating red team ops coding is the secret weapon in this video i'm going to talk about coding or practical use cases uh, of coding in cybersecurity. it's not going to be a long video it's going to be a short video okay uh, where i will be solving two challenges from hack the box they are coding challenges or let me say retired coding challenges uh created essentially to uh learn coding in cybersecurity. my recommendation is to go to hack the box Check out the challenges section, click on retired, and from here you will see the list of the coding challenges. Uh, in this video, I'm going to solve threat index and triple lock, threat index being the easiest one. And triple lock, despite being easy, it focuses on uh, solving one of the uh, popular cybersecurity use cases, which is detecting failed login attempts. And then you can find the rest of the solutions for these challenges in my blog, where uh, I dedicated a blog post to solve all these challenges, the retired ones, you can find it here, the link in the video description. A new variable, default dictionary, and put this into a list. So essentially then, for each of the S log entries, we're going to have to uh, do, the, do the following. We're going to have to actually use a for loop here. It's the perfect example to uh, mimic the scenario. So probably here the for loop is going to have to uh, come after this line. 